folks today the next practical will be on implementation of gates using CMOS basically there are a number of gates or there are various types in it so rather we are going to see only the NAND and the NOR variants of the gates and uh, let's do it in as edit okay this is my third video in the series of videos on tanner this would be the second experiment first of all just go to file new new design here write practical 2 ok in this folder practical 2 ok adding the library files into tanner go to this DV13 search out for libraries libraries standard libraries here devices we are going to add then another is miscellaneous we need another spice commands also the spice elements okay these are the design files now in order to draw go to cell new view you want to change the credentials here you can change it otherwise keep it as it is now we need to do an AND gate if you know how to draw an AND gate into CMOS then first of all we'll put and mosses in series then p mosses in parallel okay, let's keep it p mos in parallel okay, done taking wires just connect the terminals Now VDD and ground are in miscellaneous, so VDD put it here. Another one ground here will be needing a ground, and a ground here. Then for this VDD, this VDD is suppose your design goes anywhere. You can just go view fit okay now for this VDD it is a 5 volt in order to scale it from 0 to 5 you can just place it here uh, voltage source which will be in spice elements voltage source instance uh, VDD is a DC of 5 volts it will give you provide him the range from where to where 5 volts it needs to vary okay connecting the terminals then now I need to give inputs here okay so I can just connect these connect these okay you can give it input ports can be defined by putting R you can rotate it input I'll give A as input here again input I can define B as input here okay so A and B are inputs I need to take output from here so I can put an output port here 
just go it keep y as an output okay we are ready but we need to give inputs here right a b so there are two ways basically you can take a source go to spice elements voltage source instance now the type we will be needing here is not dc it is bit bit is there here you can change the credentials obviously a pattern suppose i need to give zero zero one one zero one Okay, I can also change the pulse width here. As the output, I'll be I would need a clear and a very observable output. I need to change the credentials. Now I can keep this here as one. Need to change the inputs. One one zero one zero zero. I need pattern. You can keep it here. Right for B. Okay, done. Now you need to connect grounds here. Grounds. <laughs> this upper terminal can be connected here, like this. or can be connected here it also works or there is another way also to connect these we are leaving here the substrate terminal open now save I need to check the setup simulation here interesting part is we need to add the library file where the file will be just go to my documents scanner scanner tools will get into process generic technology generic underscore 250 here you need to type space tt then we will be doing here transient analysis the stop time of oh, say 400 nanoseconds time step of 10 nanoseconds maximum time step ok things are done what we need at the outputs we need to just go into spice commands print voltage the number of voltages I will be needing I need to put it A, B and the output done we are leaving for now the substrate terminals open will run some license error is there we'll see now it is giving missing MOSFET model now we have missed the library somewhere we need to check it whether that library is correct or not to change the library
if this library doesn't work then you can also use the MOSFET definition file which is on the desktop and MOS model file in the include thing let's see what it gives now it is completed okay waveforms have come the output we can split this now we can check this is y this is a this is b so when a is there you can see the pattern right zero one zero one like this here B is there now we can verify the table right you can also edit it by putting this text boxes here okay suppose this is stable we can say it's zero zero okay I think so we can move it okay by double clicking it no it's zero here for this thing here it is one output is one one okay now zero one output is one one zero output is one mostly when both are one both are one the output is zero this confirms that the NAND gate is simulated these are the waveforms now the second question becomes optimization now in t spice there will be four warnings why these four warnings because we have left the substrate not connected that's why we will get some glitches here instead if we connect those properly nmos substrates to ground and pmos to vdd then we'll get a clear waveform in order to scale or optimize the area and the power the main thing is to do is go for pass transistor logics so similarly we can implement any gate here so See you soon in the next video.